Hi everyone! Welcome to day 10 of the 15 day songwriting challenge. Today we're going to be talking about how to use chord progressions throughout your song. If you're new here, please subscribe and download the free template in the description. That'll help you with your writing. And if you're over on Patreon, then you can download the extra templates and resources there as well. So when you're writing your song, it's really important that you create contrast between each section of the song. You want your listener to know, here's the verse, here's the chorus, now we're in the bridge. And this is something that beginner songwriters can really struggle with. So one way to create that contrast is by changing the chord progressions when you get to a new section. So let's grab this. <laughs> So let's say in the verse, I am using a four chord progression in C, and I have C, F, A minor, G. Then in the chorus, I might want to use a chord progression that's different. So one easy way to do this is to just mix up those chords and make sure to start with a different chord in the beginning of the new chord progression. So then in the chorus, maybe I'll use F, A minor, C, and G. So in the context of a song, I would most likely play that first chord progression in the verse two times and then switch to the new chord progression in the chorus and play that two times as well. You can also write contrasting chord progressions that just use fewer chords, still using a different chord at the beginning of the progression though. So here's a few examples of that. We could have F, A minor, F, and G and that uses just the three chords. And here's another example. We could have A minor, G, C, and G. And you can even write chord progressions that use just two chords, still with a different chord at the beginning. Here's an example of that. We could have A minor, F, A minor, F. So let's think about a song that has a verse, pre-chorus, chorus type of form. In the verse and the chorus, we might use the same chord progression, and then in the pre-chorus, we might want to use something different to break up that main chord progression. So let's say in the verse we're using C, F, A minor, G, and we play it two times in a row. Then in the pre-chorus, we might want to use A minor, F, A minor, F, and play it just one time. And then when we go into the chorus, we're going to return to that verse progression and play it two times again. You can also write contrasting chord progressions that use different chords from those four main chords that we talked about. So an example of that would be D minor, A minor, F, and G. And another example would be E minor, A minor, C, F. Really, you can do anything. It just helps if you start with a new chord in the new chord progression, because that's going to create the most contrast from what you had before. So another way to show contrast in your chord progressions is to change how much time you spend on each chord. So let's say in the verse, we're going to use C, F, A minor, G, and we're going to play each chord for four beats. Then in the chorus, we're going to use the same chord progression, but this time we're going to play each chord for two beats. So this is another simple way to show some contrast in your chord progressions. So some songs use the same chord progression throughout the whole song. So in those cases, if they're doing it well, they're creating contrast with just their melodies and their lyrics. So yesterday you wrote the lyrics, melodies, and chord progressions for your verses, and today your assignment is to come up with two to three contrasting chord progressions for the chord progression that you're using in your verse. So be sure to download the free template below, it'll help you with your writing. If you're on Patreon, you can download those extra templates and resources. Let us know in the comments what chord progressions you're going to use. Please like the video and subscribe, and tomorrow we're going to be talking about how to write a pre-chorus. So I will see you then. Bye!